Save loads of time in Google Sheets with macros. This is another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, there's a brand new feature in Google Sheets that is going to save you so much time and it's called a macro. Now basically a macro is a set of instructions remembered and you can execute them over and over again. Now this is something that previously you would have to write app script for. It is now baked into Google Sheets. Now the first thing you will have to do to see this new functionality is click on the tools bar and then you select macros. Now if you do not see macros in your tools bar at this moment, simply wait a couple of days, a few weeks and you will see it. I'm on a rapid release domain, which means I see features slightly faster than a scheduled release domain. Now the first thing you need to do is record your macro. Now as soon as I click on record macro, every step that I execute in my workbook will be recorded. Now it is important to note that these are recorded in your workbook. So you can apply them to each individual sheet, but you cannot take them with you to another workbook. First of all, make a copy of our sheet. So I'm going to right click on my sheet. I'm going to duplicate this. There we go. So now I have sheet one and I have a copy of sheet. Now I'm going to use sheet one to record my macro. I'm going to use the copy of this sheet to demonstrate what it looks like when I'm executing this macro. So go ahead in sheet one and click on tools, macros, and we're going to go ahead and record our macro. Now the first thing I'm going to do is highlight everything. I'm going to go to format and select alternating colors. Now I'm also going to choose the blue color there we go and as you can see it says action 2 has been recorded now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the first row and I am going to sort my sheet alphabetically all done I can now say save once all the steps have been recorded you simply title your macro I'm going to go with format and alpha and you can give it a shortcut now for the sake of this demonstration I'm not going to add a shortcut simply click on save and this is now saving the new macro. Now you will see when I go to tools and then macros, there is now a new button that says format and alpha. Now this is alphabetizing and formatting my sheet. So let's go ahead into our second sheet. Now mind you, this is still the same workbook. So make sure that you work within the same workbook. All I have to do now, and I'm going to close this menu to show you just how much time can be saved. I'm going to go to tools macros and I select format and alpha click I'm going to continue authorize it just like you would with an app script it is running the script and there we go it's finished the script everything has been executed perfectly so we now have two identical sheets this could be done in combination with a form where you collect and gather new data all this data gets sent to different sheets now I'll leave a link in the top to my video on how you can collect different data from different forms into a single workbook. And then you simply use macros to quickly sift through the data and execute a couple of repetitive steps. I find this an amazingly powerful feature. It has so much potential to save time and to just make these repetitive tasks that we all have in spreadsheets much faster without any need for coding. Let me know in the comment section below how you are going to use this new feature and I thank you for watching.